Hey everyone, this is Cubastic and welcome to my channel. Today I have on my desk three incredible puzzles that we are going to try to solve in this video. All of them are very interesting, have different level of complexity. One is metal, the other one is wooden and the third is 3D printed. But despite their differences, they have one thing in common. First, each of them consists of four main parts. And we know that fewer pieces a puzzle has, the easier it is to solve. But neither I nor you know which of these puzzles is very simple and which is very complicated. Let's find out together with you. And I suggest we start uh, with this, uh, the simplest one, which is called the Leonardo Square. And I decided to start with it, because uh, this puzzle is made in Ukraine. This is a Ukrainian puzzle. We can call it mini puzzle, because it is really small, it fits the palm of any size. And there's an extra riddle here. Let's do some warm-up and uh, solve uh, this riddle. So, you own a sneaker company. The company has two factories that produce the same model. Employers of both factories often steal goods. How to stop the stealings without firing employees? Write the answer to this riddle in the comments below this video, and I start unpacking a puzzle called the Leonardo Square. Four details, just like I said. And uh, the interesting thing is uh, they are completely identical. And our task is uh, to assemble this square. It may be of different size, but it should be a square. Let's remember how such puzzles are sold. At first glance, a very simple task, but it's not easy. <laughs> uh, what do we have? If we have uh, four identical or uh, symmetrical details, let's see if they are really identical and symmetrical. Uh, yes, they are all exactly the same and have uh, the same shape. So the solution must be symmetrical too. We have uh, four parts, we have four corners and these corners are 90 degrees. I'm looking for a 90 degree corner, I think no one doubts that uh, this is our right corner. Here it is and uh, let's put it in a corner, in a corner of a square like this. So, uh, the next corner of the square is like this, but let's make it a lower corner. And then over here, and as I understand it, uh, like this. Well, it looks like a square shape, but I think there shouldn't be an empty space in the middle. Let's flip uh, these two somehow. One, two. Oh! It is really interesting, they are folding already very close to each other and have a fully symmetrical form. Hmm. But uh, for some reason we have two squares, the square hole in the middle and everything else is also square. I think it's not the right solution, but it's the most obvious. But, but knowing the secrets of many puzzles, I can say that most often the obvious option is not the right one, so we are looking for non obvious one, but the same pattern. Where else do you see this piece has a 90 degree corner? This one doesn't fit, it's sharp, uh, this one is obtuse, and let's check this one out. You see, here it is, 90 degrees. The right corner, and it could be the corner of our square. So what we need to do is to turn every detail outward to the corner and to put them in a symmetrical way. That's all. We can consider that we have solved this puzzle. As you can see, all the parts are in the same position at the four sides of the square and we get a square. That was uh, the Leonardo square puzzle. It was quite, uh, you know, like uh, for a warm-up. Quite easy, but the solution wasn't obvious. Next, I proposed uh, to go to this bright purple package where it is written the Grand Master Puzzle Series. That is something promising, let's unpack. Well, so, and... 
Well, it's packed cool and it's quite heavy. The metal puzzle, which also consists of four identical details. But what is its complexity? Let's see. Here we have four stars. And this is this is the biggest challenge in this series. There are four difficulty levels. Four stars is the biggest difficulty level. And our job is to make four separate pieces out of this intricate shape. From this to this. Let's first uh, free up the puzzle. And what do we have? Here it is. Look, it's beautiful. Of course beautiful. It seems to me that this is some complicated version of a conventional cast puzzles that are made of metal. There are so many of them exist. And here somehow we need to separate uh, these uh, four parts. First of all, I want to tell you how to solve every such metal puzzle. We have to find the space where you can put the detail into detail. Here there is such a space, but at first glance uh, there is not enough space to slip the whole detail. Uh, it's like uh, the piece has a thicker shape uh, than uh, the hole. But if we combine the two holes in these parts, like uh, this hole and this hole, uh, then they must separate. And our job is uh, to find a way, as you can see it's not that easy, uh, to uh, connect uh, these two holes. For example, uh, two holes go inside and the piece passes through the other. Huh, well, uh, this is interesting. I like this option and now we need to somehow stick it out more. Uh, look, it's not so easy to be honest. We stuck it like this and we can slip it on the other side. No, on the other side we already lack space. Okay, this is the first thing we have done. Hmm. If we flip this over and do it like this, we are going to have this part completely disconnected. And now it looks like this. Well, it's not bad, but I thought this puzzle was more complicated uh, than it really is. Uh, the first thing I did was uh, to turn this into a chain. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, to act in that way to separate all uh, these puzzles. One, uh, then goes this one. Uh, nothing complicated here. Why this puzzle has fourth level? Oh, maybe it's because if we do this, we're not going to get anything. I don't understand why this puzzle has level 4 difficulty. Although I did it twice and the third time it doesn't work. That's it. Two. Three, four. It was really easy. Really? Why does it have a fourth level difficulty? I have no idea. Maybe because uh, it is really difficult to solve it in reverse? But we will try it later and now I want to move on to the most interesting puzzle I have on my table today. Because it can be solved more than once. I will show you. I have uh, four details, but this time uh, they are not the same shape. Even the color they have is different. By the way, I printed this puzzle with 3D printer. And if you are interested to see me printing puzzles, uh, please write about it in the comments. I will definitely make some videos at home. And I will tell you how I print and make such puzzles with the 3D printer. So, we need to put uh, these uh, four pieces uh, right into uh, this triangle. It's like uh, this box where you put all these uh, four pieces. And here's the question. If we take uh, the example of a Leonardo square, we had a square with four corners with four parts, and here we also have four parts. And triangle has only three sides. <laughs> How do we do that? Okay, let's go with that principle. Uh, we are looking uh, for a corner that can fit uh, the corner of the triangle. And here's the most obvious option. I think it will be easy. I'm sure it will be easy. 
Although at first glance it seems symmetrical, but now I see that uh, this uh, red detail is not symmetrical. It's sort of a rhombus shaped, uh, but uh, this rhombus turned out to be kind of curved. Ok, what's next? Green. The green part also has uh, the same corner as uh, the triangle. Oh no, look! Uh, I was almost sure of that. Let's assume that uh, the red part is our starting point, because it has uh, this corner perfectly aligned with uh, the triangle corner. And we're going to measure the corners with it, why not? We can do that. And the green, as you can see, not perfectly coincides with this corner. And I thought it would fit. Maybe another corner would fit. Let's take a look. So here it is perfect. And here is not. Mm, it is literally a millimeter different. So I can conclude uh, that green will not get in the corner. And this is already interesting. Next. Orange has uh, the same corner here as uh, red. And yellow, I understand, uh, should be the same here. So uh, these parts here, red, yellow and orange are going to be in the corners of the triangle. Where do I put green? Maybe in the middle? Or not? That's uh, the perfect match, by the way. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it like this uh, inside the triangle. Yeah, that's right. It even merged into one flat piece. Next, uh, yellow. I think it should be here. And that's it, I already see a place for green. Here it is. Well, and there was nothing difficult. <laughs> see, the same method works on different puzzles. We start looking for a corner and this corner fits perfectly. But that's not all, because there is a second solution for this puzzle. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on all notifications. In one of the following videos I will show you a very cool Rubik's Cube which can be solved endlessly. You haven't yet seen it. Our second task is uh, to put all the details of this triangle into this cube. And it, as you can see, much bigger than the triangle. So I'm wondering where we are going to find the same space here so that all four pieces fit into it. While I was looking at it, I saw that each of these parts, red, yellow, green and orange, uh, has a right corner. And all these corners are found inside, see? Red, yellow, green and orange. 90 degrees. And we just need to insert uh, the corners of these details into the corners uh, of uh, this uh, square room. Okay, uh, let's see if they fit, because uh, honestly, it's not clear yet. But there's uh, a free space, uh, the parts aren't uh, very dense. And perhaps uh, they will occupy less space uh, in the square. Let's try to do this. Well, uh, one more time, uh, look for a right uh, corner and uh, put it in a corner, as if we punished this detail. <laughs> Write in the comments if you were punished in childhood. I've been punished a rough childhood, but you can see how great I've grown up. <laughs> Don't put the kids in the corner. Let's just explain things to them. Next, uh, the red one comes here. Uh huh, but there's a question, because it doesn't fit. What the hell? Could it be the other side? Or even another different side? Oh, right, it's not symmetrical, so it's the other side. And yellow looks like it's gonna fit in here and it's not gonna be that hard. How did it happen? Ha! <laughs> look! A yellow and orange are the same? Look how much they look like! We solved this puzzle completely and it's interesting. I just noticed that yellow and orange have almost the same shape. And it turned out to be almost symmetrical. As you can see, the same techniques work in solving many puzzles. So if you like puzzles, subscribe to Cubastic channel and watch other videos about cooler and more complex and even, I dare to say, impossible puzzles on this channel. There are a lot of such videos here, so go and watch and I will say goodbye to you. You've been at Cubastic channel, I hope you will stay here and keep the puzzle content alive. Bye everyone and have a good time. Nice.
Why is it so simple? Really simple. The first level? Or maybe I'm just so smart?